we're going to get ready to get started in just a few moments. But while we pass the time, I was wondering if you could all help me sing a song. Do you think you could help me sing a song? Perfect. Well, the lyrics to the song that we're going to sing together today are a little bit complicated, but I think we're just the right group to do it. But I think the best way we can do this is I'll say the lyrics and then you can repeat them back to me, okay? So, our lyrics for today are going to be... La 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 Your turn! Okay, sounds pretty good. And what that's gonna sound like when we put that all together, it's gonna sound something like this. We're gonna sing together. Ready? Here we go.
Hi there, everyone. Well, my name is Taylor. I'm one of the trainers here at Dolphin Adventures. And it's so amazing to get the opportunity to say that. You see, I've had a passion to work with marine animals since I was really young, but I grew up out of town. I grew up in Flagstaff, Arizona, up in the mountains. But all of my family lived here in Southern California. So every summer when we would come and visit them, begged my parents to bring me right here to SeaWorld San Diego. I just fell in love with all of the animals you see around the park today. But I specifically love sitting right where all of you are watching exactly what's happening behind me. Seeing the trainers and the dolphins build a relationship together, get to spend this one-on-one -on -one time, this quality time to really build that trusting relationship. Understand what these dolphins like, what they find motivating, what they find enriching. I knew that I wanted to do this one day. All of these dolphins have very unique personalities and getting to know each and every one of them has been an absolute blessing. Over here at the glass with Tiffany, we have Zana. Now, Zana, we lovingly call the princess of the amphitheater because Zana knows exactly what she likes and exactly what she doesn't like, and she's not afraid to tell you. Zana here really loves being silly in the water, especially with her trainer, Tiffany here. These two have a very special relationship that they've spent years building together. Zana loves, like I said, swimming with her trainers and just getting that quality time and rub down. She also really likes high energy and fast behaviors especially in the water. Out here also, you'll see on your far right hand side, Bullet, she's our one and only common dolphin. You'll notice she looks a little different than the other dolphins we have out here. She's got those beautiful stripes on her side. She's also our smallest dolphin, it's just 300 pounds. But she's one of our most intelligent and one of our most athletic dolphins. Now it's all of these amazing dolphins that are incredible ambassadors for their species. And the reason my friend Eli is gonna get to meet a dolphin today. Eli, go ahead and come down here. Let's give him a nice San Diego welcome. Zana, oh, no. Eli, go ahead and take a step up on the top step there. Now, Zana here is going to say hello to you. What I want you to do is take two hands just like this and other way. Nice job, Zana. Now, she's one of our more vocal dolphins, so I want you to take two fingers just like this, bounce back and down. What a beautiful song, Zana. Do you know what that song's called? It's called E E E E E. She sings it every day. She's really, really good at it. Yeah. Now, something else Zana seems to enjoy is back rubs. Dolphins have very sensitive skin. They build relationships through touch. So why don't you go give her a nice back rub? What does she feel like? Very smooth, right? Dolphins are smooth so they can be fast in the water. They can swim up to 22 miles an hour. Now I've got some fish in here for you. Zana's been doing amazing. So why don't you take some squid in that hand, a fish in this hand, just toss it right over the glass. Nice job, toss those right over. Nice. Here's another squid for you. Okay, my friend, now come on down here. We've got a little problem on our hands. If I literally smell those. A little fishy, right? That's okay, we've got a good way of getting rid of those. If everyone wants to help us out here, we're just gonna put our hands together. Go ahead and rub them really fast. A little bit faster, really rub it in there. Wipe it off in your shirt. Beautiful job. Now your shirt is probably gonna smell for a couple of weeks, but your hands are nice and clean. So go ahead and stand right here, Eli. Go ahead and look at all of your adoring fans. Uh, they're jealous of you. So yeah, you can sit right there. Zana's just gonna wave right behind you with her tail. I'm gonna get out of your photo, you don't mean it. Go ahead and look that direction. Oh my gosh! Eli, I had no idea that Zana was gonna do that. Well, let's give it up for Zana and her new friend, Eli. You can sit down for me. Back to you, Erica. Thanks, Taylor. Developing relationships based on trust is crucial to the success of our training here at SeaWorld. And that's why we as trainers invest so much time getting to know these animals as individuals. Because just like Taylor mentioned, they all have their own unique personalities and preferences. And it's our job as trainers to discover what each individual animal finds most enjoyable and enriching. Because we use positive reinforcement training here at SeaWorld, which is a fancy way of saying that when an animal does something we want to see more of, we offer them something they really enjoy. Now that you've had a chance to meet a few of our bottle nose dolphins, there is another animal that calls this area home. It's time to meet our short fin pilot whale. Short-finned pilot whales can be found throughout our global oceans and are close relatives to both bottlenose dolphins and the killer whales you see over at Orca Encounter. Ava and Piper are both rescues. They were part of a mass stranding of 22 pilot whales off the coast of Florida in 2012. 
due to their young age at the time of stranding, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission deemed them non-releasable, and SeaWorld became their forever home. Pilot whales have a zest for life. They are playful and curious. And one of the best ways we can build our relationship with them is with a little bit of playtime. So please enjoy this very special playtime with our pilot whales, Ava and Piper, and their trainers.
protect the oceans that surround us, not just for us, but for generations to come. By reducing, reusing, and recycling, we can keep trash from finding its way into animal habitat. Just by being here today, you all have shown your love for animals, and we hope that you will join us in our commitment to care for the land, the seas, the skies, and of course, all of its incredible creatures. Now during this grand finale, keep your eyes open for some of our very special dolphins, including Melanie. She is our largest weighing in at just under 700 pounds. You've already met Bullet, our one and only common dolphin, but one of her dear friends is Koa, who's one of our Pacific bottlenose dolphins. She's a little bit larger and darker than her cousins. It looks like the gang is all here, and that means it's time for some more fun. So let's live it up, because the world is ours. From the sky to the sea to the air that we breathe From the depths of the earth to the stars Let the world, let the world run like you want to fly Live like you never die Don't you need to treat And everything in between I need an Looking at the endless starfield sky safety and the safety of others. We kindly ask that you refrain